We're at St Paul's Church in Rosesma and uh, this is the outpost. It lives up to its name, it's the outpost, it's an outpost for the village, for the community. We stock local chocolates, local fudge, local cakes, local relishes, pickles, things like that, chutneys. We have local eggs, our local veg supplier is again hardin based, so they provide our milk, butter, things like that. Then we have all staples like bread, we have a suggestions box so that people kind of influence our stock. The other week someone suggested sausage rolls, so they're now in the fridge. It started in the 2020 vision and the seven sacred spaces audit that we did on the church, round about 2014 I think, and lots of suggestions came from it. And one of those suggestions was a shop, but we were frightened. We had no facilities, we'd got no runny water or toilets or whatever. And so we shied away from the idea for a number of years. And along came Natalie Griffiths. And Natalie said, well, why don't we do it anyway? The church might not be reordered. We might not have the facilities, but why don't we try it anyway? As horrible as COVID's been, I think it really made us kind of look at what could we be doing more? This is our community and, and how do we want to make that better? I kind of helped out with the church in opening for COVID to be able to sit at the back so that people could come in and have private prayer. And in doing so, I got more involved in the church. We then kind of just spoke and our ideas then came together and really took off. Natalie designed the shop as it is so that it is totally flexible. We can turn it into a little box in the corner. A lovely story of a big, big funeral here. And the family came in, the shop was packed away. And the next morning they popped back and in they walked and they said, where did all this come from? And it was the shop. We moved here about 12 years ago, up on the mountain, and know a few people really well, but I think we've always felt there's a, a wider community we'd like to be involved with. We were totally aghast when we asked the community, would you like to volunteer to do this? And we have now got 38, if not 40 volunteers. I have to say, people came rushing to help. Occasionally we'll have people come in just for silent reflection meditation. So it's certainly offering a service that I think is being taken up increasingly in the village. People come in and they, they don't go. They come in and they buy something, but they don't disappear off. They wander around and sit and talk, stand and talk. And people wouldn't do that if they didn't feel that it was nice to be in here. I know why it's working, because it's much bigger than just us. And we're in a church and my faith just believes that it would work. But I know it's working because when I've been on duty here, people have come in with the most unusual needs. I'll give you one example. A lady had come from Caerphilly to visit her mother and she was then following on to visit her daughter here and she rushed in here to get something for her daughter as a present. We started talking about the painting of Uganda there and the story behind it. And then she sat down and she told us, or me, the, the worries that she had about her mum, the worries that she had about her daughter. And she went away from here. She said, I was meant to come into this shop, she said, because there was something here that I needed and I never knew. We should have known what would happen. We offered a shop and it turned into something much, much, much bigger. Even though it's always had the doors open, now when you walk past those doors, it's, it's filled with laughter and people talking, and, and that's been our main change, I think. The project itself has become much more than the sum of its parts. It's not just a shop. It's the beating heart of this community.